So today, as you heard from Will, is the first day of our 2022 pledge campaign. And the theme is Emerge, Deepen, Transform. Now, if this is the first time you're joining us, I want to assure you that we don't get up here and ask for major donations and extended phrases every Sunday. We promise that's not what we do every week. <laughs> but we do invite you then to take this chance to simply observe how open, healthy, and transparent that this institution is about financial matters during what I love to call the Sermon on the Amount. <laughs> Today, we are blessed to have giving us testimony, Nicole Gray. Nicole is an amazing leader here. She serves on our Council on Ministries. She works with the pledge team on messaging, and she has made time to go to finance team meetings just to see how things work behind the scenes. Nicole is a mother of two awesome young women. She is also a fabulous writer. So UUCM, I present to you Nicole Gray. Thank you, Reverend Scott. Good morning. We come to this congregation to encounter the sublime. We come seeking experiences that are spiritual, uplifting, healing, wondrous, and even magical. We come to be nourished and to be acknowledged. Mm -hmm. Here we find what we can't find anyplace else. I have marveled at the outdoor cell phone photography and leaf identification skills my daughter learned in religious education last trimester. There are multiple RE options, but regardless which activity is chosen, the eight principles and six sources of UU are intrinsic to all RE which helps ground our children in Unitarian Universalism. And as grown-ups, we also get to participate in religious education. Plus, we can join teams and groups where we can make art, listen to poetry, build things, tend pollinator plants, care for our fellow congregants, feed those in need, make protest signs, and then march in the streets together. And then there's the music. It is a privilege to watch our musicians deeply engaged in creating the soundtrack for our congregational experience. Whether it's a traditional hymn, a Zulu folk song, a Hebrew cantata, a Latin chant, or original songs from Paul Lombardo and Juliana Carr. The music is one of the great gifts of coming to UUCM. And with 2020 being a watershed year for recognizing the tyranny of white supremacy, our social justice activists are now focusing on reparations, as well as the hard work of implementing the eighth principle into congregational life, which calls for us to work to build a beloved community by acts that accountably dismantle racism and other oppressions in ourselves and in our institutions. Suffice it to say that our souls are indeed well fed. Now, let's balance all of these sublime experiences with day-to-day -day pragmatic concerns about things like budgets, boilers that need to be replaced, or troubleshooting tech problems, like, for example, a last-minute bug on a Sunday morning, meaning that live streaming might have to be done via cell phone. And yes, that has happened, and our tech team handled it like pros. There is also the ongoing work of maintaining our 117-year-old congregational building. We are now facing a potential crisis, the proverbial elephant in the room. For the past two years, we have benefited from two grants, 
courtesy of the CARES Act, a total of $150,000, that's $75,000 each year. This year, lacking such a windfall, cash flow could be greatly diminished, making us have to consider unthinkable cuts like staff furloughs. Once again, our pledge goal this year is $525,000. And note that 70%, 75% of our annual budget is based on the pledge drive. Okay, it comes directly from the pledge drive. And 75% of our expenses are the salaries and benefits of our beloved staff. If we don't hit these numbers, our staff members who have literally seen us through this pandemic may have to work fewer hours or leave altogether. Again, unthinkable, but unfortunately possible nonetheless. Stewardship is the practice of paying for today while building for tomorrow. And for us as UUs, one of the deepest spiritual traditions and practices is the giving of time, talent, and treasure <laughs> to sustain the continuity of our congregation. So I ask you, please, give generously. And also, I'd like to thank you so much for those of you who have already pledged. And I'd like to thank you in advance for those of you as you make your pledges now. Thank you. <laughs> 